Ice cream lover Steve Christensen's my name, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. Uh, today we are on another Scoop School field trip. These are the good trips to total wine, spirits, beer, and more. <laughs> Look, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is Lloyd's of Pennsylvania. Andy Jones and Barry Jones are probably thinking, oh great, we get to sponsor the video down at the liquor shop. Well, hey. Let me tell you, this is no ordinary liquor shop. Now, most of you know that I don't drink alcohol, uh, and you're probably wondering, well, what are we doing here, Steve? Why are you bringing all of the students down to Total Spirits? Well, I'll tell you why. We were doing a bit of a web search and trying to find some passion fruit puree. And uh, look, one of the first places that showed up, a place not far away from us, was Total Wine. What I started thinking was that there are places locally that may not provide ice cream flavors, but do have unique concentrated flavors. So let's pop into Total Wine and see what they've got for us that we can make some ice cream out of. I don't want, I don't, I don't want to show you my balls, Bob. Okay. <laughs> so ice cream lovers, there is actually a treasure trove of extracts, purees, and all sorts of things you can make ice cream with within the walls, within the aisles of this liquor store. Look, the reason why I know this is because we are after a rose water um, extract, and we needed it locally because we were doing a special on rose water gelato. Looked it up, where can I find it locally? Lo and behold, we've got a Nielsen Massey rose water here at Total Wine. And then I kind of had a look at some of the other stuff going on here. Um, they have an orange blossom water. You've got in this aisle non-alcoholic ingredient bases that you can use. This way a little bit. Um, I started to look at all of the other stuff here. So we've got passion fruit, daiquiri and mixes. You've got strawberry, uh, we've got mango. There's all of these different extracts or purees that are pretty concentrated because they put them a dash of them in alcohol, not that I would know, to give it that boost of flavor. So when we were looking to make a passion fruit ice cream for this week's Scoop School community, again, punched it in, lo and behold, the very unique flavor process and purees are found right here. So I've got a passion fruit puree, but I've also got cream of coconut, uh, mango, I've got peach, and I've got guava. I was tired of my lady. <laughs> Pina colada. Pina colada mixes. It's handcrafted. So whether you're making like a water ice or a sorbet, um, or even putting product into an ice cream base, again, there's so much stuff here. How do you like pina colada? Do, 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 do. Yes, some dedicated ice cream ingredient and distribution companies can certainly help you out with products that were designed to go into ice cream. But in a pinch, you could come down to your local alcohol supply shop and find some of these uh, ingredients that probably you're not gonna find at a Walmart or a regular grocery, but you will at a specialty place like this. Okay, so. Uh, look, I got myself some uh, guava. I uh, figured that would be a very unusual flavor that you don't get around the place a little bit. Uh, I've got my passion fruit to make our passion fruit ice cream. And well, I went a bit over budget because someone holding the camera wanted some peach puree. I guess the story here is don't discount some of these local stores, specialty stores, specialty food stores, uh, that might provide some good concentrated flavor bases that you can experiment with. It'll give you certainly a uh, just an air of difference. And that air of difference could be the difference between someone coming to your store and perhaps someone going out. So thank you very much, crew at Total Wine, Spirits, Beer and More. They've been lovely. Yes, we had to pay for it, but hey, You've got to invest in flavors in order to be the good people on the block. Whether it's these guys or someone else in your neighborhood, always go on the lookout for these specialty stores that can provide you some really unique flavor profiles that are literally just down the road. Thanks very much to Andy and Barry and the crew at Lloyd's of Pennsylvania for sponsoring this episode. And look, if you have an ice cream request, if you have a problem, uh, if you've got issues that you need to talk about, 
Hey, drop us a comment down below. We'd love to answer your questions. That's all we have time for this episode. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next one.